Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Excel Video 190. I'm Nate Moore. Today we're going to talk about rounding. And there are three functions we I want to show you, but the one I want to focus on is this round function. And all round does is, here's the format, you just take the number you want to start with, comma, and then the number of digits to round to. So if my number is 2.7 and round 0 says give me the nearest integer, and that's what it's going to do, and I can go from 2.7 and it'll round it to 3. If I go to, I'll say, 3.6, it'll round it to 4. 360.4, it'll round to 360. Rounding's pretty straightforward. It'll just round to the number of digits that we put there. Another thing I want to show you is you don't just, are you not just limited, let's say it that way, you're not just limited to putting a zero in the round function. What you can do is here, here I've got a number 270.451. And if I say round to the nearest two digits, what 2 does is it goes 2 digits after the decimal. It says, all right, I'm going to round to 270.45. And I can do 3 digits after the decimal, or I can do 1 digit after the decimal. And it, we can round to whatever level of precision you need based on whether this is um, money and you're happy with 2 decimal points or something clinical where you need 4 or 5 decimal points. You can put whatever number of digits there that you want and make it work. The trick that um, may be helpful for you is you can also round the other direction. If you make this number negative. So instead of rounding to two digits, you round to negative two. What it's going to do is instead of going right, it's going to go left. And what instead of rounding to 70, it'll round it up to 300. Um, so if I do 2785.65, it's going to round to 2800 because it's going to round two digits up and say, all right, now I've got the 27, the eights there. I'm going to round up to eight and round up to 2800. So um, zero rounds to the nearest integer. Positive numbers round to the right of the decimal place, the number of digits that you give it. Negative numbers round to the left. If I do a negative 3 here, I'm going to get 3,000. Two more quick applications of round if you need them. There's a round up and a round down. What round up does is it's, it's not going to worry about the decimal point and is it above 0.5 or below 0.5 or that. It's just going to round up. And round down says, I don't care if it's 360... 0.9999, it's still rounded down to 360. So if you always need to round down for some reason or always need to round up for some reason, there's a round up and a round down function that may be helpful as well. And they work the same way. You've got the same number of digits. So this, again, we could do two like that. And this thing is going to round up and this thing is going to round down. If we do the same thing, 2,000 and a penny, this is still rounded to 3,000 because it's rounding up based on negative 3, 1, 2, 3, and it goes over three digits. And this is rounding down no matter what you get. A couple of ways to use the round function. Zero, positive numbers, negative numbers, round up, round down. That's what I wanted to show you about rounding. Stay tuned next time. We'll keep going. Thanks for watching.